Rare World Wins are pretty much the single most requested My Singing Monsters feature ever. Uh, until they recently came to the official game. They were so unexpected and so well received that no one even bothered to see what did he really even bring to the table. On April 5th, 2023, Rare Woblins were bringing to the official My Singing Monsters game. This was very unexpected, since there were no monsters that had rares and not being able to be bred, and these were the first ones. The mechanic uh, to make them rares was different. Basically, you got the Woblin awakened like regular, but then a new option came. When you clicked that option, you would need to fill the Woblin's regular inventory, except the monsters are rares. Now, I would criticize this for being unoriginal, but I can't think of anything better either. The first rare Woblins were Brump, Zinf, Powook, Twok, and Dwumerol. The first common Woblins released. These Woblins are honestly really cool. Brump is not what people expected. Most people believed him to just be a pink Brump with rare fur corners. But this was way more. Rare Synth is the coolest out of the original Woblins, and honestly still the coolest after all these new Rare Woblins. Wait, new Rare Woblins? Yeah. Sadly, these guys release once every freaking month. That's pathetic. Anyways, Poix next, and it's also really damn cool. Zen's the coolest, but Poix is clo a close second. Then, Black is good. I don't think he's one of the best, but he's not one of the worst either. His tongue is really cool though. Rare one roll is also really cool. These Batflin Wobblins are all really good. There is one criticism I have and it, it's that he looks a little too close to my boy Rare Zin, but it's not the end of the world. Next batch was Rare Wajay and he's alright. Personally, he's very close to his common counterpart, but he's still alright. Next up is Rare Blipsqueak, and he's also pretty alright. Nothing much to say here. Rare Timpa is very cool. Timpa is just a really cool monster design anyway, and his rare makes it even better. His blue's kind of uh, bo getting boring because of Zint and Dwumroll, but that does not lower the coolness aspect. Rare Creep is cool. Ew! He sucks! Their rare counterpart does not differ in terms of lovability and good lookingness. Awful. Awful. Get out of here. Astropod. Bit of a switcheroo, you know. Nothing like blue or cyan. He's cool, I guess. There's nothing special with him. Now, Giger is not the best, but he's not that bad. Pumpkin! Bon Appetit is also pretty cool. Wait. Oh, hello, Astropod. Rare Scargo. It's another alright looking one. Rare Fleet Worm's very interesting. He's cool. No, I like him. I don't know. He's just very cool. Rare Screamoo is even better than Fleet Worm. He's very cool. Rare Dermot sucks. Sorry, Rare Dermot fans. It really does. He's too similar to Common Creepy School and Ugly. Now, why they choose that? Why did they choose rare woblins? Why make them? And plus, did we really even need them? So first up, why am I asking this? Everyone likes rare woblins, you know. Well, I know something else. You see, rare woblins really only add one new sound. Rare Wobox. If he's even getting added, that is. I know, I know. They're cool. But the sounds? Isn't music the core of my singing monsters? Yeah, and you only hopefully bring one. Now, you could argue that the rare Woblins re revived the Woblin Island because of Monculus coming on. I don't know if that's true. Uh, if they thought of rare Woblins, they're constantly looking at the fandom and Woblin Island fan creations. So if they're looking at rare Woblins, if Monculus was predicted and requested, they'd add it. Now, 
that's the revival of Woblin Island, right? But if we're talking about just rare Woblins, they don't really bring anything. I'm very sorry, but I don't think that's enough to delay for like a year, a year and a half, whatever. So, rare Woblins? Nah, I don't think they're such a big deal. Sorry. Alright, this is very controversial, but this is my opinion. If you think rare Woblins are very good, I'd say opinions. Anyways, bye.